I told everyone, and look how many people know and hate you. And thanks to those cameras, thousands of more people will know and they will hate you. An emotional day in a Johnson County courtroom as two rape victims face their attacker. 41 Action News anchor Cynthia Newsom was in that courtroom as the victims choked back tears during the... Cynthia. And I have to tell you, some people in the courtroom as well were crying as they listened to that testimony. You have to understand, uh, these two victims have been waiting a year and a half to get to this moment. Now, one of the victims was raped and just beaten up in her own apartment. The second victim was not raped, but Akins admits that he beat her as he tried to rape her. The district attorney, the assistant district attorney who was covering and trying this case today, actually called it the most brutal and savage rape and assault this town has ever seen. Let's take a look at the video now in the courtroom this afternoon during sentencing. Jesse Akins pleaded guilty. He did not testify today in his own defense. His lawyer spoke for him, though, explaining that Jesse was on cocaine and that he is sorry for causing the pain to the victims and their families. Now, both victims are relieved that Akins is finally on his way to prison. One victim told the judge Akins should get 30 years for the more than 30 minutes he held her down, raped her, and beat her, leaving her in a pool of blood. That night, I felt myself fading, and every cell in my body fought to live. That fight was bigger than the pain, bigger than the fear. It's just a pure will to survive. To remember those words of you threatening to come back and finish what you started if we were to ever turn you in. And for us to be here and for you to be there is the one of the greatest feelings I will ever know. And after that powerful testimony, the judge actually praised the two victims for their strength and courage and then ordered uh, Jesse Akins to head off to prison for the next 27 and a half years. Reporting live at the Johnson County Courthouse, Cynthia Newsom, 41 Action News.